Hey, good morning, everybody. Psalm 107, 2 says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Now, what does that mean? If you read through the Psalms, it says all the things that God has redeemed the children of Israel out of. Now, for me and you as the Christian, what does that mean? We understand the fulfillment of the Old Testament and the New Testament, what Jesus did. He's redeemed us from all of our sins. That means he bought us, he paid for us with his own blood. And it says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let's, you know, sometimes we walk around tired and miserable and uptight. We forget that we've been bought with the, with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And God has revealed that to you by his spirit. So talk about it. Talk about it with brothers and sisters in Christ. Talk about it with unbelievers. Talk about it. Say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We are God's people. We have hope beyond the grave. We have hope when it's all hopeless all around us. We have hope. I don't know how unsaved people get through this life. Well, I do know how they, they suppress their feelings and the truth and the spirit of God all the time because they don't want to face reality. But God has done a work in our hearts that we were able to say, wow, Lord, we need you. You bought us. You redeemed us. And I want to talk about that. I want to speak about that. So use whatever venue you have. Use your uh, YouTube channel. Use your, your, your text messaging. Speak to people one-on-one -on -one at work. Most of all, do it with your life and the choices that you make. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Talk about what God has done for you. Let's shout out the glory of God in our lives. May God bless you.